What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy, and this is X-Men 97. This is going to be episode 5. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, but I'm excited for it. If you want that full-length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdynightly. But if you don't stay here because you're already here, and this video is about to begin. My next life will be mine. Take care, Jean. Call me Madeline Pryor. Th that name threw me off, and I don't know why, because that is her name. And I was literally like, Madeline Pryor. I was confusing her with the fucking sender. It's my bad. I don't know where, I don't know, you know when you just brain fart hard on something? Do you think that she takes on the name Anodyne in this, though? I don't know how much more story time we're going to have for her this season, you know? Yeah, see, here they're not doing the Marvel Animation song. Why did they do that last episode? That was weird. Deciding the time has come to change the human race. Some say they're free. The human race. We prefer to see it as a world that misunderstands us. Fortunately, helping us build those bridges is a journalist as esteemed as yourself. <laughs> this outfit is wonderful. I love the ascot. Not like regular boring classes. More hands-on learning, you know? But with big death machines and vampire dinosaurs. <laughs> hey, y'all. They be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. Gambit, please remember, you are the only one of us who would die if we fell out of the sky. Oh, shit. Okay, Genosha. scored a top spot among Genosha's brass. The interim council wanted an X-Man. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. Interesting. You could spare a gene. <laughs> so where the heck does that leave us? <laughs> hey! Hey! Kurt Wagner, how the heck are you, furball? Kurt Wagner! We shall play tourist as the council speaks with Magneto. We shall play tourists. It's my boy. Come. I even if I lived there, I don't think I would ever get used to people just popping in and out of places. A man named Gambit. Your poker face is very poor. <laughs> it does not take a priest to see you and Vogue's souls touch in every gaze. Mm. You Americans, so theatrical. <laughs> Life is violins and close-ups. I blame soap operas. Oh, I fucking love this show. <laughs> if love is best measured in what we forgive. Damn. It's a good line. A love that spans galaxies. So, I have to ask. When did you know she was the one? Well, things are complicated. Um, <laughs> we were in Nevada. I had just acquired the power of a cosmic entity. The Phoenix. Oh, right. You were there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I ripped the skin off of your body. Uh, <laughs> you forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. The only ever seen one of you, Red. Just the one. Those are the rules. You just forgot them for a sec. Enough said. Oh, fuck. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Jesus, Scott. Fuck. Oh my God, dude. We need to be thinking about how to speak loudly as one united community. As one united community. A poster child king. Careful, Miss Frost. Don't go filling this man's head with such notions. Oh, wow. You eclectic allotment of social climbers. That is one way to talk about this group of individuals. <laughs> like Moses in the Promised Land, we would carry the dream. What a shot. That reflection is so good. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? It is a political calculation, Rogue. 
Magneto's really coming up for Gambit, huh? Oh boy. I won't deny my passion for you. As with Gambit, loving you makes broken men whole, so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. Wow, that's a fucking line. You can explain! If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Something wrong, Miss Pryor? What the fuck? Jean, you... How long has it been happening? Uh... A month, maybe. I, I was checking in after she moved overseas, but we ended Go. up... Go to Genosha. Be with my clone. <laughs> what? Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? Jean! What is it? What the fuck is going on? Damn, Gambit! You look good! The man seemed nice enough. Seemed to want to help. Just not like I thought. The age difference was weird, but... He showed me that being a mutant wasn't just about my power. Damn, Magneto. Can't touch you, Remy! Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. Holy fuck. In this game, you do. Till then, we be friends, Mona me. Just friends. Oh, Gambit. Damn, that was. That sucks. This, this episode sucks. I mean, it's great. It's really well done. Holy shit. Everybody's here. <laughs> Rogue. What did she say? <laughs> oh, Gambit. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I get what Rogue's doing here, but, like, you could have been a little bit less presentary about it, you know? <laughs> what is that? Thanks for the dance, sugar. But Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. Turn it off! The music! Get everybody out! Hey, there's your son! Kill the music! Abel, you made it. You survived. I'm so sorry, Mom. What is happening?! My God! Right under its belly, and there's no way to them. A promise was made. Oh my God! Oh no! Oh fuck! Holy shit! This is crazy. Come on, Gambit, let's go! <laughs> he just keeps going. He knows she's got it. He doesn't need to stop her rogue. She's good. I hope. Fuck. It's like a fucking Unicron Sentinel. God. They shall be a man. <laughs> oh my god. Just whipping it with a fucking train. Okay. <laughs> I love that Gambit is like 
given a lot in this show, right? Oh my god, this is so crazy! Is that Magneto? Oh, what? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> oh my god. Hab keine Angst. The name's Gambit, on a me. <laughs> Remember it. To reiterate for those just returning to us, regardless of your stance on recent world events. Oh my. Images you are about to see may be disturbing. <sighs> Fucking Magneto's last moment. <laughs> Telling a kid, fuck, man. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> ah, wow. Yeah. I'm alright. I'm good. Everything's awesome. What the fuck happens in episode six? Oh, damn. Having Magneto's final moment be telling a kid to not be afraid is like the meaning of that and the fact that he goes back to his own fucking language oh jesus christ it started off so fun i mean other than like gambit being cucked the whole episode which i feel bad for him you know and then he saved the day he saved rogue and he saved the day but only after so much loss holy shit Madeline got to see her son grown up know that he was okay before it all went to shit. That's beautiful There's a lot of beautiful stuff in this episode, right? Like I, even the way that rogue turned down Magneto I think like that scene was so well done. I Just am blown away. Wow. I did not think the show was gonna go this hard That fucked me up But it was so well done. I don't know. I fuck I need next week's episode. I need like because the rest of the season has to be about this, right? Like, how do you make any? How do you make the rest of the season about anything else? I mean, obviously there'll be stuff. Gene and Scott. Th this episode had so much, and we have talked about the beginning. Gene and Scott, man. I feel I, I I get where Gene's coming from. I do. I feel like she's being slightly unfair to him. Not completely unfair because he's not being honest, but I think that the mistake that they made was that Madeline just left. And that they didn't, the three of them, talk and figure it out first, right? They should have spent a little bit of time, the three of them, getting on the same page about the way they were going to grieve what happened and move forward as a unit. Not as like a dating unit, but they are they are a team in something that nobody else can understand. Nobody else can be a part of, right? Only the three of them are in this situation. And I think that her leaving so quickly left too much on the table that wasn't discussed. And so... I, I totally understand Scott needing to talk to her. They spent a year, at, at least nine months together, right? He needs to talk to her. And I, I think that Gene is being a little unfair in the like, being upset that they're talking, but 
totally fair in being upset that Scott did not tell her about it. And I think that Gene and Scott are both not giving each other, they're not communicating enough to have room for healthy growth in the relationship. And, and Scott's not being for either. Neither of them are. I, they're doing a bad job of this. But there's so much trauma there. I don't know. I don't know that I could do better. I don't know. Like from the outside, it's so easy to be like, you know, talk to each other. But in the moment, like, how do you talk to each other? How do you even begin the conversation? How do you even like, how do you talk on the news about the fact that your son is alive in the future, but that you don't get to see him? But Madeline does, obviously. And now Gambit's gone. Fuck me. All right. Well, the saddest part is that fucking she never told Gambit. He died. I mean, the saddest part is also death. That's like the, the saddest. But like the saddest part for them is like he saved her thinking that she had chosen Magneto. And she never got to tell him that he, she didn't. Fuck, I need, I need to go find a tissue. Um, if you like the video, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her this episode, that algorithm goddess. Ugh, fuck, could be anybody, but let's go with Rogue. Rogue went through it, man. And to be fucking sitting there holding her dead love. Cool. Uh, if you want to follow me around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. And as always, do something nerdy tonight.